Hello, people. It's I am new to StarCraft, recording from you live wherever I usually record. I don't know, it's multiple locations. Bathroom. 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 Somewhere in a dumpster. I don't know. Anywhere. It can be anywhere. Just look for a guy with a laptop and then try to find him in the most unusual locations. That's me. But in any case, we're going to do a little something that's a little off topic than what I usually record. Um, most of the time I record stuff that's games. Well, okay, we're going to learn a little, learn a little techie thing. Um, we're going to learn how to use our own hard drive space as virtual memory. But what is virtual memory? Well, to be honest, I really have no fucking idea. But, pretty much, it's, but pretty much, if what, if what this document says it's true, it's pretty much space on the hard drive that isn't being used that were, that will load into RAM so that you can get more applications running. Most computers usually have 64 to 120 28 megabytes according to that thing. I'll post it in case I'll post it because I'm not really good with explaining things. So if anyone else is curious about what virtual memory is or is confused. But pretty much let's just say that you can load more applications if you have more virtual memory. So we're going to learn how, how to get more virtual memory using our own hard drive. So pretty much, how do we do this? Well, first we're going to go to my... Com first you're going to go to your start menu, go to computer, and then you're going to click properties. You want to see a screen like this come up. Basic information about the computer, all right here. Go to advanced system settings. It's going to... When this system properties comes up, go to the section under advance, which will most likely upload as soon which will most likely come up as soon as you upload it, and click performance. Now, you're gonna go to advance and you're gonna go down to virtual memory. A paging area on the hard disk that Windows uses is if it were RAM. Pretty much backup RAM, not actual RAM. Now, what you wanna do is you're gonna go to change. Now Mine's already set up on the way that it's already custom sized because I actually just figured this out today. So I figured, and I've actually seen some videos on YouTube that shows you what to do, but it doesn't explain it really too well in general. Okay. <coughs> it lists all the drives that it has right here. For me, this would be my operating, this would be my actual hard drive, my recovery drive, and the the SD card drive, of which I don't use. I don't think about it. Why don't I just convert all that into virtual memory? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it later. I actually care. Okay. So, it's most likely going to be on... Okay, when you first come here, it's most likely going to be set on system manage size. Now you're going to go to custom size. Now don't do anything yet. Now, on the performance options thing, where it says right here, well, I can't click it right now, but it's on the place where, on the section where it says below change, you're going to see, there's going to be a line that says total paging file size for all drive drives, and it's going to have a number of megabytes. Now, for that cut, for the initial size of megabytes, you're going to want to take that number that's in the performance options thing. Use a calculator for this so you actually get the math right. You're going to times it by 1.5. Whatever number comes up, disregard any disregard any per, any points because you're not going to need those. And you can't enter a decimal in anyway. Whatever that number comes up to, enter that in on the enter that in on the initial size. So for me, right now I have 5,041 megabytes of virtual me of virtual memory. I'm going to want to increase it. So I take the 1.5. 1 1.5 1 of that is 7, 7561. So you would enter that number in. Now for the maximum size, the the maximum size. 
you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to, instead of 1.5, you're going to times it by 3. So, 141 times 3 equals 15,123. After that, you're going to click set. Now, I actually liked it where it was earlier. So I'm, I don't really plan on increasing it. Now it's very specific with this on the account. Now it's very specific with this on the account that I heard horror stories before that you could actually fry your laptop if you put in way too much virtual memory. I don't know if those rumors are true or not, but the reason that it's the 1.5 and 3 is so you're on a safe level. Of which I would agree, I would rather be on a safe level than accidentally fry out my computer. This was pretty much 700 bucks right out of my wallet. Now, once you're done with everything, examine everything, and after that, you're going to want to shut down your and restart your computer. And after that, you'll have more virtual memory to spend. Now, do be remember, now do realize that you are consuming hard drive space. So if there's a hard, so if you're low on memory for your hard drive, and you know you're gonna need stuff installed s somehow, and still need stuff installed later, um, don't do this method. Now, but if you have hard drives to, but if you have hard drives to spare, if you have memory to spare like me, I got like 90 gigs still, and I don't really use it too much of it. You can then add, then, and you need more virtual memory then you have a way of adding more virtual memory to your computer. So, you're happy and the computer will not destroy itself, so the computer's happy. Smiley face. Good night, people.